to our video. Are you new to Scouts? Is your best friend a Scout? No? And you just joined. It's a good time to get your friends joined too. We're here to talk about how to get a friend to enter the Scout Zone and join the Scouts. Hey guys, we know it's not always easy talking to your friends about joining. But the fact is, you can bring your friends into Scouts if you know how. That's right. When you tell them about the fun we have, most of them will join. Tell them you get to go on campouts and paddle canoes. Whoa, slow down, dude. What makes you think these guys want to recruit their friends into scouts? Um, to get the recruiting patch? Oh, right, the recruiting patch. It's cool, it's collectible, it's the scout zone patch. That's awesome, but the real reason you want to bring your friends into your troop is it's cool when your best friends are with you in the scouts. Yeah, right. Ask your friends to come and check out Scouts. Ta-da! Oh, sure. And like, in the video, hello, it's not that simple. Don't you think we should show them how to do this? Yeah, yeah, good idea, guys. Okay, so let's do a couple of situations you might be in. I'll be the Scout. And I'll be the guy who's not a Scout. Yet. Right. Okay, let's say you're talking to a friend. I talk to friends all the time. Okay. So you tell them what you've been doing in Scouts. Like? Like summer camp, or the weekend up at the falls, or repelling the wall at the state park. Yeah, or our trip to the Air Museum. I can be that. And you say, you'd be good in Scouts, so why don't you come with me to the next meeting? That's it? Basically, yeah. Except for one thing. What's that? Objections. Objections? Objections are like when your friend says, yeah. That's cool, but I don't think I can come. I don't have time to be a scout. Oh, um, gee. Stumped you, huh? The old I got no time excuse. You're gonna hear that. So, what do you say? A lot of guys will say, I don't have time. Sure, we're all busy with stuff like school, band, choir, sports, clubs, church, and then we've got family things to do. How can anyone find time for scouting? But hopefully never too busy to have fun, learning and doing new stuff like fishing, boating and camping and hanging out and swimming, eating and cooking, building things and sliding down hills and biking and building fires and cooking and eating. So when someone says, I don't have time, what you can say is, I'd say, you're not busy every night and weekend, are you? We only go on one weekend trip a month, and we meet on Thursday nights. Hmm, really? Way to go. Just tell your friend that most troops take one weekend trip a month. The weekly troop meetings are mostly to get ready. Even the busiest guys can fit a totally fun trip into their schedules. Meetings are usually held at night or right after school, somewhere in the neighborhood. You still have time for homework. And if you just have to miss a meeting, it's okay. Exactly. Okay, so we know what to say when the friend says he hasn't got time. What do you say when your friend says it's kind of nerdy or they heard that Scouts is really strict, like school? Oh, yeah. The guys who say it's just not cool. Heard that before. Or they don't get the uniform bit. The fact is, what we do in Scouts is cool. And it's the opposite of school. You're in the outdoors. You lead yourselves. You totally learn about nature and survival. You hang out. And uniforms can be cool. Look at the military uniforms and the police, the firemen, and the football players. Uniforms, right? Tell them we just wear our uniforms for meetings and to display our awards. When we were on the trips, we wear regular outdoor clothes and all the right gear. Speaking of gear, some guys may think their parents won't let them because it costs too much money. What do we say to that? Compared to other activities, scouting costs a lot less than you think. Most troops own their camping equipment. They keep monthly trip costs low, and when you go to summer camp, you get all the gear you need. If a troop needs more gear, they do some fundraising. And for those guys whose families still have a hard time affording it, they even have camp scholarships. Okay, so I know what to say when my friend says, but it takes too much time. Not really a lot but it's way worth it. Or it's not cool, it's actually very cool and a lot of fun. Or it costs too much, 
It costs less than you think. Then they'll join Scouts. Well, some guys may want to join right away, but others won't be so sure. They don't have to sign up on the spot. Just get them to visit the Scout Zone as your guest. They can come along with you to a troop meeting or on a weekend trip. They can do that? Come on a camp out? Sure. Specially invited guests can go on scout trips. Check it out with your scoutmaster first. Tell him you want to bring a guest and you want to make sure that their first time in scouting is fun. If they have a good time, they'll probably want to join. So you should do this. Have all your best friends come along and you'll make scouting even more fun. Yes, that's right. But it's not just about you. It's also about how much fun they'll have being scouts themselves. That's cool. You're doing your friends a favor, too. In Scouts, we want to bring the fun of scouting to as many guys as we can. Hey, guys. Thanks for bringing new guys into the Scout Zone. And if you need more help, check our website at www.thescoutzone.org. Good luck. See you in the zone. The Scout Zone.